Those are power rankings. Those are power rankings. These are the losers. The losers of the week. All right, Matt Patricia. I've tried very hard not to crush Matt Patricia. Why? Um, I don't know why. Yeah. But I've just tried to not be. Well, first of all, like I don't believe in the no, no backwards hat thing. Um, the beard is a bit much. <laughs> uh, I don't like beards. You know what it is? I don't like to pick on people's appearances because I think that that's stupid. Right. And uh, I like uh, they all wear all the coaches wear the same thing on the sidelines. I don't see anybody out there in a Vince Lombardi suit. So I, I don't nice. I don't know what the big deal is. Class it up um, a bit. I don't I don't buy into the backwards hat thing. Some people think that's important. I feel like I don't care. Um, if it's raining or and you don't you have a hat on and it's backwards, that's kind of stupid. Or if it's sunny and you have a hat on backwards and you have sunglasses on, also stupid. But other than that, I don't care if you wear your hat frontwards or backwards or sideways or whatever. Um, I don't like the appearance picking apart thing. Um, however, Matt Patricia really opened the door for us to criticize anything and everything he does because he decided to lose his mind and talk. He, if you haven't seen it, um, maybe we can pop in the clip. I don't know. Do me a favor, just kind of sit up and just like have a little respect for the process. Every day you come in and ask me questions and you just kind of like, you know, give me this. But I mean, like, just, just be a little respectful. Just, I'm asking just to be a little respectful in this whole process, okay? So ask me a question professionally and I'll answer it for you. Yeah. Uh, where there's a reporter who asked him a question, a very valid question, mm -hmm. about the Golden Tate trade. And rather than answering the question like a normal person, he decides to call out this guy on his posture. Which is fucking insane. Like, what are you talking about? What, what's, what is this dude doing? Like, how could he possibly be sitting? I need evidence of how he was sitting. I, I, that's why okay? I keep thinking too. Like, what's like, he doing? He's like, he's like, uh, so Matt, yeah. um, you know, go and take trade. Yeah. So like, how's that gonna affect you next year? Okay, maybe. All right, right. maybe if it's like that, you got the foot up on the seat. Okay, I. Don't you know when you fine. lay down and you, you got the you got your you yeah, resting like, your head so, like a pee. Um, I think that was like you that's know, disrespectful. Uh, Matt, Matt, buddy, uh, go and take trade. What do you think? <laughs> All right, I don't. I have a hard time imagining that that's what was going on. Right. All right, I, I feel like Patricia was probably being a little bit uh, emotional. Mm -hmm. Maybe he was in his feelings about something that this reporter had said about the team, which is warranted because you're not very good this year, and it's falling apart. And of course, uh, they got destroyed by the Vikings, twenty-four to nine. And I don't root against people. I don't. I don't. I'm not rooting for him to lose. I don't care if he loses. He's, he, it's a Lions. The Lions are a notoriously dysfunctional organization sneaky browns they don't they are sneaky browns 100 percent um but i try to do my best not to criticize like the, the appearance thing and then you're talking about someone's posture i have terrible posture okay <laughs> i i that. have to consciously sit yes. up straight yeah all the time tv has helped a lot mm -hmm. um because i did radio for a long time or did not matter and now i have to sit like this for three hours a day and uh in the breaks i go like this <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot. Are it's you taking your job less seriously because you're slouching? No, I actually think I am not. being smart because I don't want that to happen on air. So I need to break in between things. Um, all right. So Matt Patricia. Uh, also on Loser Power Rankings this week, I have to put myself uh, and anyone else who doubted the Raptors. Although I did say at the beginning of the season they were going to be good this year because of Kawhi. Um, I've been very, 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 very hard on the Raptors uh, traditionally. Yes. And the Raptors are 10-1. Uh, they are whooping on everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, they whooped on the Lakers, and everyone's freaking out. And they are not even playing Kawhi sometimes. And he still has a sore ankle. Um, yeah, well, which I don't is know. one of the reasons why I can't say he's the best player in the East. He is because the best player you got to be on the court to be the best player in the East. But Serge Ibaka, can we talk about the fact that he is still hot? He went eight for eight. <laughs> Yesterday, um, yeah, Serge Ibaka was that was insane. Um, so yeah, he had a, it was career high. So it's not like that's just, like something he's doing every single. I'm just night, saying, there's but, more. There's more pieces of why the Raptors. No, are great. no, no. no Kyle Lowry, whatever Kyle Lowry is playing now, who doesn't have to play with Demar Derozan, I like this version way better. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Has yeah. Happy. It, it, it's it's obvious team. now that they needed to be apart. Yeah. Because uh, because Demar is killing it also. So yeah. Uh, yeah. So so Raptors doubters. Mm -hmm. um, are what? I was a Spurs. Oh, yeah. DeMar Every DeRozan. time we mention the Spurs, we have to point yeah, at Ashley, yeah, yeah, who no one can see. Yeah. Um, or here. She's having uh, a rough week. Yes, yes. So, anyway, Raptors Dallas. Speaking of Ashley, the Cowboys. <laughs> all right. Speaking of rough weeks. Yeah. Um, where, do I, where do I start with these Cowboys? All right. So, uh, 
They had a bye week, which is even worse. Ooh. All right. So, so, so they lose to the Tennessee Titans, which yeah, everyone's like, oh, Marcus Mariota. Okay. It just yeah. pumped the brakes. Okay. I, I realize it was Monday Night Football and everybody's watching. So everyone's like on the Marcus Mariota bandwagon right now. Let me just chill out on that. Um, Titans, not terrible, but everyone just pumped the brakes on that. Cowboys. Let's focus on the Cowboys for a second. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, it's looking like Amari Cooper was a good move. Probably wanted to make that at the beginning of the season. I don't know. Um, more importantly, they're three and five now. They're two games behind the Washington. Only two. The, the Washington R words. They're not out of it, but there's there, there's there's nothing in in that loss last night that you see that there that provides any hope for them to be better uh, as the season goes on. Mm-hmm. What the f- happened to Dak and Zeke? Uh, obviously Zeke is, is is still Zeke, but like what the f- happened with the two of them? When there was rookie season, what was going on? Is this like RG three or something? Like we were all fooled. What happened? Their offensive line is not bad. Yeah, but that that offense line was two years younger. As okay, they're still tenth in the league. Yeah, I. That's the top third, like of the league. They're still a good offensive line. You can't ask for everything. I really, I have no idea what's going on with the Cowboys. Jason Garrett mm-hmm. is a as as Skip Bayless says, like a clap coach. I mean, he's always been a clapper. We know that, and and that and that's fine. Okay, so the, the bigger picture for that's me. That's fine. I mean, look, what, what I don't care with the Cowboys. Yeah, fair, I, uh, yeah. With the Cowboys, I mean, I'd like for the Cowboys to be good and interesting, uh, because they're a huge brand, and I like big brands because big brands equal big money, and that's what the f- everybody does. Like, yeah. it's what we do here. Okay, content. So, yeah, I'd like for the Cowboys to be good, and I don't want them to be dysfunctional either because there's no, there's not enough stars in that team to talk about to be dysfunctional. So when they're dysfunctional, it's Tony Romo. Okay, cool. We can talk about Tony Romo for four days straight. It's not going to bother me because it's goat. Tony Romo. He's not the goat of anything except for Skechers. Okay? Mm. So, Joe Montana. And, and taking ill timed vacations with Jessica Simpson. Okay? Oh, he is. No, he is he, he, Speaking he, of ill timed vacations. Shea. Huh? Speaking of ill timed vacations, what do you think about Jason Garrett's World Series thing now? Okay, yeah. Clearly, so that's they a good weren't point. prepared. That's a good point. So that, that, that is looking more and more like a Tony true, Romo mistake. True, like, true. You, you're, you're, you're coming off a bye and you get your ass kicked on national television. And, you know, you were kicking around the World Series, which I, re- I did not have a problem with at the time. But also, when you're losing, that looks bad. Yeah. So I don't care if you go to the World Series, but you better come off a bye and kicking it at the World Series and win. It's just a disaster. And, and it's disappointing. And I don't know what's going to happen with Dak. And, and, well, actually, I do know what's going to happen gonna with Dak. It. He's going to stay there. He's and gonna J- gonna J- Jerry's Jones. not going to change mean, anything. And, and I, ke- I keep saying this, and nobody nobody seems to understand. Or they're not listening. I don't know. Jerry did what the f*** he wanted before. Jerry's a Hall of Famer now. I just want everyone to know that Jerry Jones, there was a version of Jerry Jones two years ago two years ago that did whatever he wanted. And now there's a version of Jerry Jones where he's already in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Yeah. He is going to do whatever he wants. Yeah. And they're still the most profitable sports franchise in the world. And they're gonna be. In the globe. In the globe. Okay. Uh, bigger than anyone. Bigger than all those big fancy soccer teams, okay, whose names you can't pronounce. Never Though can. he's the, Never the, the will. biggest in the world, they're the biggest brand in the entire world. Jerry Jones is a Hall of Famer, so I've got news for you, Cowboys fans. Nothing's changing. Not nothing. Nothing. Something has to change. I'll tell you what. They got two wins in the rest of the season. Uh, two wins left in the rest of the season. So uh, what? that's exciting. Out. Yeah. Enjoy those. Buccaneers and Giants at the end of the season. We, you're going to beat the Eagles. You're going to beat the Falcons. Yeah, we're you're going to beat the, the Eagles. Redskins, you're going to bring the, beat the Saints. You gonna beat the Eagles again? Why? Twice. Y'all lose Eagles. to the Cowboys You're right hilarious. now. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Well, Sean Lee's hurt again, so. Oh man, what a surprise.